ticket office. There was one thing I wanted to show you there, the driving regulations. I'm not going to walk you through all of them. But the very interesting thing is, as I told you, one of my first onboards this year. As a... I'd like to rent a car, please. <laughs> nice. What's the access on that? <laughs> 40 cents. 40 cents. LP, oh, it's probably Lamborghini. Performante, 601. 60,141 horsepower. Oh, no, and now it's a convertible. It's good, weight reduction. Whee! Content in these dire times. Thank you very much. Okay, see you, bye. Oh, oh, Diana, can you like and unlike? Follow and unfollow. I want to show our amazing uh, thing. Give us a follow at uh, Apex on Instagram. Right now. Are you doing it? Are you doing it? Come on, come on. People are waiting. Oh no. Now give us a follow. Well, at least I'm happy that our cars are faster than this thing when the track's open. See you guys. Bye. 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 And I guess this is going to be my new entrance to the vlogs because usually the reception was upstairs and that's where I was walking out and saying hello comrades good morning comrades and that's the new reception so that's gonna be hello good morning comrades and good morning dirty 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 car something needs to be done about it probably tomorrow probably by Pete because I know nothing about washing cars so there'll be content of that and I guess it's time to switch the winter tires as well for something else because now it's well, it's first of all April, but it's also starting to get pretty warm. They predict 20 degrees next week, which makes us very sad because there's supposed to be Car Freitag and four consecutive track days and lots of other things. But yeah, so basically gonna swap the wheels for Pro Tracks with some different tires, maybe brakes as well while we're at it. GRZ suspension is also finished, by the way, in the meanwhile, and some other goods. But now let's go on a walk because it's such a good day. Come on, let's go. Mm, someone's been drifting. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Spotted. Spotted. Shout out. <laughs> I mean, you gotta do something when track's closed. Where are we going? Mini carousel? Nice. We're gonna see all the cars that are not driving today. So, are you planning on making these jackets? The team. We've already got them. Oh, okay. They're down getting made by Jan. Uh -huh. So he's printing them all. He's got, I think, 30 of them. Hmm. No, 20 of them. He's got 20 of them. So Cool. But people cannot order them. <laughs> nope. These are, I mean, a lot of people have been like, oh, I want that jacket. Exactly. That jacket, but they're our team jacket. You know, it's just like every year we have our team jacket that maybe has brands on it. This one has a logo that we actually designed, but it says G22 or SMR. So it's kind of one of those things where we don't really need to mm. go selling that product because yeah. yeah, I think it would be a good seller though. Yeah, I think so too. Only nine kilometers to Adeno. You got flowers? For my necklace and bracelet. For your necklace? Uh. Are you going to make me a necklace too? or? I guess that's a no. Yeah, well, make sure to do social distancing. Don't go in the trash bin. What, what about kids' jackets? How are we selling those? Yeah, we can sell these ones. We, with with Team Shermer on it? I think so. I think they're actually on our website. Oh, cool. I think. Still walking on the way down to Mini Carousel. And interesting things that you would find out that you wouldn't be able to if you would be driving is that walking takes twice as long to the center than actually driving. <laughs> Uh, oh wow, 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 look at this, some car spotting today, that's beautiful, would rather see it on the track though, but all right, walking through the field to Devil's Diner, which is closed, I mean on the other hand, today was supposed to be VLN and it would have been closed anyway and empty, but not in the evening, or yesterday, or tomorrow, or the day after tomorrow, oh my god, first traffic, well it's not the first traffic, but you know, it's one of those times that I would rather see a Lens or Bongard truck instead of this. <laughs> oh well, there is one more thing I want to show you. Probably one of the last uh, lost souls that tried to get here to the Nurburgring, or maybe just like like us walking around. Ticket office. 
There was one thing I wanted to show you there, the driving regulations. I'm not going to walk you through all of them. But the very interesting thing is, as I told you in one of my first onboards this year, as of this year, Race Tracker has official partnership with Nürburgring where you can buy all your pictures. And basically, here comes the warning for the GDPR saying like, okay, you will be photographed. And if you do not want it, if you do not want to be photographed, please, please visit ticket office to get a red sticker and put on your car. So you get like a kind of a triangle that you can put in your front windshield. And then, yeah, you are basically will not be photographed or filmed by any other media just like I am etc uh, so people will not be able to sue anyone like uh, photographers or youtubers like oh privacy privacy no you are here on a private object of the Nürburgring and you've been warned that by entering this premises that you are going to be photographed and if you don't want that then make sure to put a sticker on your car so thereby just some interesting updates of how to do Nürburgring and now I really need to go catch up with Robert and the family because uh, yeah where are they uh, and, uh, usually like I've been picking up stuff and putting them in, in the trash but like in times like these maybe I shouldn't be doing that uh, this is also so sad to see the empty overflow car park <sighs> by the way it's the first time that I see this barrier being closed hmm the other point was open though oh no it's also closed I didn't even notice that so yeah they definitely closed this off and another important thing in the news it has been like uh, the new local newspapers etc have been writing that police is going to still control and block off everything on Friday for car right act because they expect still some well some people to come and make their own party make their own car right act so we will see what's gonna happen that's why a lot of things have been closed off um, I'll be there to film it all because I'll be here anyway so uh, let's see and uh, what do you guys think if I'm gonna make a compilation of car Freitag videos from the last four years that I've been vlogging so maybe that's something interesting for you who have never been here and maybe a compensation for missing car Freitag this year what do you think let me know another barrier here from the main road oh, we can still have some cool car spotting Furthermore, in today's boring things I'd like to make interesting, because otherwise there's a lack of content at the Nürburgring, we found this field next to the main road, which has been plowed. So stay tuned to find out, subscribe, like and share to find out what will be growing here actually, if anything will be growing at all. What do you think, what type of plant or vegetable or fruit would suit the Nürburgring? Pineapples excluded. I'm referring to the golden pineapple trophy of Tristan Fountain. Oh, that's George. Or not? Yeah, it is. So Max and I are currently discussing the concept of ring beavers. Yeah. Yeah. So what do they have on their tail? Um, a um, non-king tire. Non-king tire pattern, right? Mm -hmm. Not like a waffle like normal beavers. Yeah. Like which kind of car do you think they're trying to make? I don't know, what kind of car would be with drive? Would it be a GT4 or a GT3? Or a cup what is, car? What is faster? What's faster? A GT3? G yes. Or GT4? No, GT3 is faster. GT4. So GT4 will be driving. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Responsible of beavers not to be too, too fast and too expensive. Is it faster on corners or on straightaways? Mm, that's a good question. A GT4 RS? A GT4 RS, well, we have to find oh, out about GT4. that. Yeah, the club sport. Huh? Well, it, it's fast everywhere a bit. It's a very balanced car. You should ask Moritz, he will tell you more. Maybe Moritz is a ring beaver, you think that? No. No? Oh, okay. What do you think ring beaver's favorite corner is? I think they don't like going uphill because it's a bark car. A bark car. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Wouldn't that be bad if your car got too hot and it catch on fire? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so definitely no ex mule. Can it go uphill to a foxhole though? Or Holson? What do you think? Well, if they have enough like speed going downhill, oh, they can pull it up. So, but what do you think? Well, I think, I don't know, forced. I don't know, I think maybe hook, I think. Oh, that could be it as well, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All the wood corner names. But none that go up high. No. Like if they're going way too fast uphill, mm -hmm. um, and they're um, the back of the car might hit the when it goes like this. 
when it gets back like this. Mm. Like, no! Yeah. When you slightly oversteer and you hit the curb with your back wheel, that's not good. Oh, we're at your favorite corner, Max. Gagenkopf. That's your favorite corner here. Also one of my significant ones. Do you think um, beavers would like this? This corner? Well, Galgenkopf means the gallow, and gallow is made out of wood, so maybe they like it unless they're the ones hanging from the gallow. The Schwabenschwanz, right? Mm -hmm. So you come from down there, Bella Fest, and then you come up into the Schwabenschwanz, and then right up behind these trees is the mini carousel. And then... Okay. Yep. So it's crazy to see how it makes a big loop, huh? Mm -hmm. Like... And you know why it's called Schwabenschwanz? What? Swallow's tail. Because apparently when you look from up in the air, it looks like a swallow's tail. Swallows? Mm. A bird. Did you know that the bird is the word? So far, all the updates regarding ring beavers. We have now arrived at our final destination of today's walk, the mini carousel. Very significant corner for me, of course. One important feature that we forgot to mention was off camera that ring beavers wear open face helmets because of their teeth obviously sticking out. So that would be very uncomfortable with full face helmet. Maybe it uh, gives some very difficulties when it comes to communication with the team back in the pits. So this is still a feature that we need to discuss about. So stay tuned for that for the next time. We're going to walk all the way back. See you next time. Bye. I think except for the no passage. Yeah, no passage. Then we should also put signs up. No trash. I mean, how difficult could it be? But on the other hand, maybe put some trash bins. But we saw the T13 that it also does not always help. 